when we started working on networking, it was all a technical challenge. Now it's part of the social fabric of, of the world. Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, the funding for that first network came out of the, the Department of Defense in the U.S. But it was really money that was spent in the university community for the most part and focused on just understanding how to link together computational resources and how to build a network that could support that efficiently. It was, that was the main function. And the genesis of the internet came from the need to connect all those different networks at different packet sizes, different interfaces, different data rates, um, and make it work as a seamless whole to get to the resources that were on those independent nets. So the internet itself was essentially a set of protocols and procedures to link these different resources together, whether communication resources or application service kinds of resources. Um, and in that sense, the internet I think of as this global information system rather than a separate network, because the networks are components of the internet, but the internet is independent of any particular network. Uh, it started out as a project, again, in, in the government, and uh, myself and my colleague, Vint Cerf, worked very hard for many years after the first 10 years where we were incubating this technology to get it out of government, to get it out into the private sector. And I think we've succeeded, uh, at least in terms of what we did, pretty successfully. And today, there are almost no connections back to any government for the overall system. It's pretty much in the private sector, and, and every government is concerned about its implications for their own country. You say that the internet will be evolving. What can it eventually evolve into, you think? Well, I think you have to ask, what is it that you might do in the future that you can't do today? Um, I gave you the one example of just accessing information on the net. The idea we came up with was, rather than identifying things by virtue of the wire that the machine is connected to, or by what machine something is on today or what the file name is. In 100 years, you're not going to want to know what, what was the file name 100 years ago. You really want to go and identify the data itself and be able to get that data, whatever the technology of the day is. But I think if you build a technology base around managing information, it enables all kinds of other things to be possible. For example, you could build really interesting distributed simulation capabilities. You can uh, deal with issues of identity management more conveniently. You can be able to implement public key infrastructure implicit in the system and be able to use that to access private information with full security. So I think it's got many potentials going forward that uh, we haven't really explored uh, in, in widespread detail today. Do you think there will be anything after the Internet? Well, I mean, you could ask, is there anything after life? And that becomes a religious uh, issue in, in many ways. Uh, the Internet served a very important purpose by making it possible for computational resources to work together and, of course, the networks to work together. Uh, and in so doing, it enabled all kinds of capabilities involving people-to-people -people communications, people-to-machine communications, machine-to-machine. Um, I think that's a capability that will be with us for a very long time. We would have to move beyond computational capabilities as we know them today, which is a relatively young field. I mean, the first computers were only developed in the middle of the 20th century. You know, maybe in a hundred years we'll have completely different ways of doing computation that will admit of different ways of interacting that we don't now know of. Um, but even so, I mean, let's suppose we develop a technology for communicating by gravity waves, just to give you an example. It doesn't exist today, but if it did, then probably the methods of the Internet could apply to that as another medium of, of communication, just like it applies to fiber optics or wireless or wireline communications today.